Right guys, I'm going to go through the 2018 question. I've already set up part A, done part A. So there's already a video done on that if you need to look through that. Part B, we are asked, there's three parts to part B. We're asked to draw the elevation. We're asked to draw a plan to find the strike and the dip. And we're asked to find the length of the shortest skew borehole from R to the surface. Okay. So the first thing you can do is join your points together for the for the plan. So you're already given your points, and I've just added the heights in beside them. So R is at a height of 35, Q is at a height of 60, and P is at a height of 45. Okay, so that's what you end up with. Very simply, you're already given R up here at a point at a height of 35. So I'm going to take Q up and P. And I know that P is 45, that's P, and Q is 60, so that's a Q. So we're going to join these together, like we did with our plan, and then we can find our strike. So remember, when you're finding the strike, it's always a horizontal line. So obviously in this question we're going to draw the horizontal line an elevation from point P. So that is strike. Okay, take that point down to plan. Strike will hit there. And then we join point P to there. So that's the strike. And I'm just going to extend the line up so I know what to draw an auxiliary. And that is our strike, okay? Now we're also asked to find the dip. So obviously we need to draw an auxiliary. Find the dip. So I'm just going to set up the adjustable set square. If you don't have an adjustable, you're going to have to use your sliding set squares. Okay, so draw my XY line here. X1, Y1. So that's point R. P is already coming up for me and point Q. So we're already given the heights of these so we can just mark them in. We know the Q is at a height of 60. So Q is going to be up there. P is at a height of 45 and R is at a height of 35. So <coughs> let me extend my lines up here. Okay, as ever, you should end up with a straight line, okay? And obviously, you can just take a line across here somewhere and mark in your dip. Okay, so that is going to be the dip. So that is part one and part two done for question B. Now, the final part to that question is to find the length of the shortest skew bolt hole from R to the surface. Now, so we know point R is down here, it's right on the 80 contour. So what I'm going to do is extend this line R up. And I'm going to measure it to be a height of 80 now. I'm barely getting that on my sheet as you can see. But it would be there. Okay. So that would be R at a height of 80. Okay, now obviously the shortest distance would be a 90 degree line, so I'm going to draw a 90 degree line here, like that. I'll just put it on a yellow colour here. Okay, in case the shortest distance has to be 90 degrees to the surface, so that would be the shortest. Distance. All right. So that is part, part three. B part three. Okay. Now the final part is part C. So this is actually a tricky part. Okay. Now there's not many marks going for this in the exam. I think it might be just fifteen marks, something like that. So this is what would separate the A two and the A ones. So you have to kind of think yourself here. So part C: find the line of intersection between the top surface of the stratum and the surface of the widened portion of the toll plaza. So in other words, where is 
the top surface of the stratum cutting the toll plaza. Okay, so we have a toll plaza here, just the widened part of the road. So we need to find where does this actually cut the toll plaza. And it is, it's hard to imagine it, but it will cut a section, a small section. No, well, it'll cut a section up here in the top corner. Alright. So what we need to do here to get this sorted is the toll plaza is at a height of 65 if we told. Mm, yeah. So we have a height of 65 which would be up to there. Again I can use my adjustable to take it across. I get a point that hits the top surface at that height of 65 right there. Okay, so that's for part C. Okay, so it's obviously 65. I'm going to take that point down like that. And you can see it cuts that corner of the toll plaza. Alright, so I'll just mark that off in a different colour. And I'm going to use blue colour here. So that is a section that it cuts. Okay, and that is part C. Again, guys, that part C is a very tricky part. Well, it's, like, it's very simple if you think about it, but it really it will separate the the A two and the A ones. All right, so you really need to think about it. So it says find the line of intersection between the top surface of the stratum. So you're on to the top surface of the stratum. We have the top surface here. All right, so that is the top surface here. Okay. So top surface on the surface of the widened portion, which is here, of the plaza. So you define where it cuts. So again, you know the road here is at 65. So from A to C, the level road at 65. So you're going to measure up here, 65 millimeters. It cuts the top surface of the stratum at that point there. So we take that down 90 degrees, and that is the corner of the plaza that is cut. Okay. So that's 2018 parts B and C done.